Almost everything in this world is a mixture. They think of just about anything, an apple, some dirt, the water that you drink, and nothing is really pure. We really need to take a good look at mixtures if we're going to understand chemistry. After all, that's most of what you see. What can you say about a mixture? Can we classify mixtures? Are there different types of mixtures? Why is it chemists don't really like mixtures? Why is it when they see something like this, an apple, they say, well, I'm going to have to grind that up, I'm going to have to remove the water, I'm going to run the residue through an HPLC, etc. Chemists uh, are always working with mixtures. And a little bit about solutions. Solutions are an example of a mixture, and they can exist in all phases. This is Greencast 3.2. In this world, nothing is really pure. So what can we say about a mixture, like blood or granite? Well, there's two types, really. There's the type that look pure. They look like one thing, and this almost does, but they're not. And there's the other types, the ones that clearly are speckled. You can see more than one thing. If you can only see one thing, we call that a homogeneous mixture. It's evenly mixed. If you can see more than one thing, we call it a heterogeneous mixture and there's examples of each. So, a homogeneous mixture by definition is a solution. It is more than one thing all in one visible container, let's say. If it's heterogeneous, you simply call it a mixture because you can tell just by looking at it that there's more than one thing. Either way, the properties are going to vary depending on the composition of those mixtures, be they, be they heterogeneous or homogeneous. So the idea is that you got to separate them to learn more about them. And they can exist in all phases. Let's take a deeper look at solutions. That means homogeneous mixtures. Give me an example of a gas-gas mixture. How about air? Give me an example of a solid that's dissolved in a liquid. How about salt water? Give me an example of a gas dissolved in a liquid. Well, how about the things you drink like sodas? A solid dissolved in another solid. It really can't be done unless you melt them first, mix them up, and then let them freeze. But brass and steel are examples of solid-solid homogeneous mixtures or solid-solid solutions. A liquid dissolved in another liquid. Well, there's lots of examples. Gasoline, vinegar is 5% acetic acid in water, things like that. That's a little bit about mixtures, and this is Screencast 3.2.